Hello people, today I uh, want to build a chaotic system on the Behringer 2600. A chaotic system is sort of a system that is sort of makes sounds that seem to be very random but do have patterns. So it's not random, it's chaotic. There are uh, patterns to be found. Uh, this particular uh, chaotic system I want to build, I uh, I found on YouTube. Uh, it was explained by a guy called Rob Hordijk. And uh, rest in peace, Rob Hordijk. This is the, 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 the bare bones foundation of that patch. You see, the only things you need are two VCOs, one VCO with a square wave and a sine wave, and one VCO with only a sine wave. I, I, I've drawn a square wave, but you don't need it. And a sample and hold. That's the only things you need. So I looked at that and I uh, thought to myself, wow, uh, my Behringer 2600 has all that. It has a... Uh, it has three oscillators, but the first one uh, doesn't have a sign uh, out, so I have to use the uh, second and the third. And of course, there's a sample and hold here in the, in the in the corner. So I uh, I want to try it. You can also uh, play along if you have a synthesizer, or you can use the free software VCV rack you can also do it in there but yeah it's uh, digital also fun but uh, I wanted to try it in the real uh, analog way so what we first do is we take the sign of the first of the of the second oscillator I will call it the first for now from now on Put it in the VC of in the in the output. I will take the square or the pulse, how it is called here, from the second, the first oscillator, and I will put it in the trigger of the sample and hold. Now that's weird. That's weird. Yes. Uh, I will clock the sample and hold at audio rate. That's what I uh, will do. So I will take the sign of the second oscillator. Where will I put that? Oh, I will put that in the signal of the sample and hold. So it will uh, it it uh, won't sample noise but it will sample the second oscillator the sign of the second oscillator I will put the sample and hold into the second oscillator I will put it all the way up and I will I won't need another patch cable because uh, the signal is normalized to uh, here to the first oscillator so I just can put the slider up and I won't need uh, another patch cable so now if I look is that right I think so so let's hear let's play with the pitch of the Later. Interesting.
even if you nudge the fine tune a little bit, it changes. Change. Because that's what a chaotic system does. because I'm clocking the sample and hold faster with the first VCO. By the way, I will uh, link to the video in the description uh, where I found this patch. Ooh. That's very cool. Now, let's use the filter and especially the resonance. I want to hear the resonance. So, let's turn it down. Let's take the output and instead of putting it directly to the speakers, let's uh, first put it through the filter. Uh, yes. So if you... Oh, where is it? Yes, it? So. Uh, let's uh, take the sample and hold output uh, I have uh, I don't have stackable cables so I have to use the uh, so it's, uh, I have to use the mult let's use the mult we'll take the sample and hold out and put it into the filter and put filter a bit down and oh. I've, uh, I've put the resonance down of up I don't know if I've said that but I've done that I really nudge a little 
little bit and it and it already changes. So now instead of directly patching it to the output, I have uh, the filter in between with the resonance uh, uh, not all the way but but very high up uh, and uh, the filter cutoff I um, also modulate with the sample and hold out is that uh, clear so uh, you can try this with your own synthesizer and have fun or with VCV rec uh, I found it to be less fun with VCV rack, I don't know, maybe because uh, the uh, digital modules are very precise and the analog modules have a bit of bit of backlash, Google, Google Translate says. So I uh, I hope I uh, can inspire you and uh, have fun with making weird sounds. <laughs>